Hello, this is Matt. I want to show off three items that were delivered today. I think in this day and age, you kind of got to be a little bit of a sniper. You know, you got to find things that might be a good deal and grab them when you can. So I'll first start the U.S. Mint products that came out this year. I was fortunate enough to get the half ounce gold and the American Silver Eagle. That was direct from the mint and I never got them slabbed. I just kept them as they were. So I was searching on eBay, just hunting for anything that seemed like a good deal, and I saw the metal, and I ended up getting getting it for $105, which it seems crazy, $105 for one ounce, but comparative to the rest that were going for about $130 to $140, it seemed like a good deal, and I felt like it kind of completed this trilogy where if I was going to keep the half ounce gold, I have the one ounce silver, and the American Silver Eagle. And I'll just keep these, right? I have no intention of sending them away. I'll just hold them and so be it. Whatever happens with the price, it happens, but at least I have some coins and rounds that I think are cool. The next two things are completely not my style, but I ended up getting these for a combined price of about $90. Now I'll start with the American Silver Eagle. It is an MS-70 and it's the 2012 struck at West Point Mint. So there was some confusion about 2012. This is just the normal bullion piece. There is no West Point Mint mark, but for some reason or somehow they knew that this was struck at West Point. So it's still amongst the normal bullion coins or rounds, but for some reason, again, this is the West Point. I don't know if that adds value. I know if it had a W mint mark, it would have meant that it's more valuable. But this MS-70 struck at West Point. Again, combined cost was about $90 at the most. And this one, it looks like, goes for about $60. So again, I think combined, this was a good value. This was an MS-69, and it was the first NQS. So you see NQS which means that I believe that she is recessed and same with the maple leaf, recessed. So these are just cool pieces. Again, it was a good deal. I have no problem buying an American Silver Eagle for, let's say I paid 45 and 40 if we wanna do it that way. You know, $45 for a slabbed MS-70 seems decent since the normal ones are going for, you know, 32 to 38, you know. So not a bad deal. This was just something, again, that was part of the package. And then $105 for this seems crazy, but again, compared to other ones that are actually selling on eBay, seems like a good deal. So I just want to show off again the trilogy, the gold, the metal, American Silver Eagle, and then these two new additions, interestingly struck at West Point, and the NQs. So how cool is that? Latest pickups, again, times are tough. It's hard to get things, but when you see a deal, I think we just have to buy what we can and fit them into our stack. All right, see you guys next time.